Hey voters, Anthony Hassler is the internet politician here. Before I begin, do not forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date on new content. Now we're going to return to my political positions and we're going to start with daylight savings time or daylight saving time. And apparently there's no second S. Uh, I feel like we should abolish it, but keep us positioned in the daylight saving time period every day of the year. Uh, that's the one where there's like more daylight during business hours. Now, according to the National Geographic, 50 years of research has not conclusively proven positive energy results and serves to produce health problems caused by stress due to the lack of sleep. That happens when we do the, like, the switching part because it, it, it screws up people's clocks internally because we don't really follow their our internal clocks anymore. Uh, that's why we, we, we hear about the nap culture where a whole lot of people are just taking power naps now. It's because we just we don't follow our natural rhythms anymore. We're, we force ourselves to stay up late. We force ourselves to get up early. And at some point, our body starts rebelling. I know mine has, since I hit, hit 40, I I nap. And I never napped before. I, I mean, I napped when I was a baby. But I mean, I was a baby. So on a related note, the additional sunlight earlier in the day benefits the economy. Uh, businesses, especially those that rely on outdoor activities, see an in uh, increased cash flow. In addition, crime is also reduced as a result of fewer hours being closed during times of daylight when crime would typically occur. So, I mean, think about that. Economically, there is better potential. And, and this is the, the, the fiscal conservative in me going, yes, more money. And the social guy going, yes, more crime. Um, so I don't see it as a bad thing. Now, I, number of reasons why we had it before, uh, most, uh, you know, supposedly about, uh, candles and saving money. That isn't a problem now. Whatever the issue was before, not really a problem now. But now that we're talking about the economy, let's move into the economy topic. So we live within a capitalistic system that enjoys free market economy. I, I would like to say free market. I, I debate about free market. A lot of things seem to be manipulated. I mean, especially now with cryptocurrency, all one famous person has to say is, hey, I like this one over the other. And then all of a sudden that one's valuable and the other one's crap. I never invested in cryptocurrency, probably never will, because it is just... There's no real basis for, I mean, at least the U.S. dollar, obviously not on the gold standard, but is recognized world round and is the basis for a lot of trade in this planet. Uh, cryptocurrency is not real. Hot take if you're Elon Musk, I guess. So um, it makes sense that there are some minimal business regulations that promote success within the markets. Monopolies, for example. So this provides confidence in our economy among both consumers and businesses. I cannot agree with the regulation that places the government in control of any self-sustaining industry or that decides on which businesses prosper over another within the marketplace. Now, there are services uh, such as sewer and water and whatever that your, your local government controls because there is no marketplace for those services privately. I mean, at least in most places, uh, there is, uh, my family owns a farm in southeastern Ohio where um, some of this stuff is an, is independent, like garbage pickup, uh, like um, water, like um, like uh, septic tank drain, all of that is done privately. The city doesn't do your septic tanks. The city doesn't fix your wells. Uh, the city doesn't pick up your garbage. Um Technically, the city doesn't pick up my garbage, uh, but they did negotiate a contract with it. Uh, where, where the farm is, uh, you have to find a, a vendor who picks up garbage and you have to pay them directly. There is no city intervention whatsoever. So there are obviously places where the government is necessary and places where it isn't. It just depends on where you are. So then we move on to education. Parents and students should be empowered with the option of attending grade school in one of three methods, public, charter or district, private, non-secular or religious, or homeschooled. Now, that, I believe that is actually in Ohio where I'm at. Uh, that is the law. You can actually do that. That's not true everywhere. Those in public and private school who have grade point averages of, of or over 3.0 
uh, with the means to use a computer should be permitted to attend school via the internet. So, I think that it would save schools money if they allowed good students to put, be put onto a trust system. And that hasn't been proven more until during this pandemic, where good students will and have excelled while uh, students are really required more hands-on and have it. And that, that is sad first. And a lot of people are going to be going back to school uh, this fall and are going to really have to catch up. Uh, but there, there's going to be the few who, who were maybe got accustomed to it or really good at uh, doing their own work and don't need that oversight could could do it from home. And the funny thing is where I live, uh, high school students have the capability of doing some work from home. And I'm not talking the typical homework. Uh, I'm talking the go home, you know, check in online for your class, uh, you know, read or watch the video of the lecture basically like you would do in college already happening in high schools here something that should be explored uh, nationwide uh, now this of course means fewer physical school locations to support uh, be it entire campuses or classrooms it is a real cost savings it, 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 it just makes it so much less expensive the school systems wouldn't be so strapped they could put more resources in better education there's just there's so much potential if we would change the way our archaic school systems work. Now, educators should not be entirely to blame if a child is unable to succeed in school. There are other factors, uh, but the increase in cases of learning disabilities and other contributing factors uh, can be also at fault. Some of which never go diagnosed. Um, in addition, some statistics have shown that smaller classroom sizes increase chances of success for students, as they would get more personalized attention from educators and teachers should be paid more but also based on merit a good teacher should be rewarded a bad teacher shouldn't have a job so then when speaking about tax money and school funding citizens should only be supporting classroom activities during school hours and the busing back and forth uh, students should pay for their own breakfasts and lunches and if a student's eligible they should receive meals at either a subsidized cost or free Extracurricular activities should be paid for by those who participate. This includes the cost of using campus resources, but still having the school be able to provide some of the resources for these extracurricular activities, especially we're talking um, busing and whatever, especially when we're talking intramural things. If the money was available, that would be awesome. Uh, subsidized costs or free lunches, I, during a period of my grade school, uh, it was elementary school time, my mom, oh, how to explain it. Um, she gave birth to my youngest brother and was out of work for a while and money was a little bit tight. So uh, I, I think lunch was a dollar and a quarter at that time. I was getting it for a dollar, or I was getting it for 40 cents uh, because we really could not afford a dollar and a quarter for lunch. So in addition, our students need to be able to compete effectively in this global economy once they have completed school. Students should have the choice of which school to attend, and those schools need to have a strong emphasis in math and sciences. Uh, we need to maintain a world-class education system from primary to secondary school, as our children's potential is critically important to our nation's future. Uh, higher education, private loans should have a rate of interest comparable to that of the uh, mortgage market average. Although right now that's all crazy. Um, most of those that borrow for higher education have no credit rating in which to fairly base interest rates. I used to have a private student loan. I'm not going to mention the company's name, but you know them. Uh, they gouged me. I eventually ended up in court and uh, I no longer owe them money. My ignorance in college about money was profound. It just, it was ignorance. It, there was no better way. I was, I was like, they were like, hey, do you want a loan for $10,000? I was like, heck yeah, I can use some money. I didn't know. They didn't tell me. Like, literally, the guy sat at a table, said, sign this paperwork. You can have a free t shirt. This is at my college. And I'm like, okay, free t-shirt, what the heck? 
Next thing I know, the next semester comes up, and I have a ten thousand dollar student loan from said company, and I'm like, where did this come from? Free money, uh, but I still owe owe just like a hundred thousand dollars plus to the federal government because I went to law school. And let me be clear, I didn't graduate law school. I went for the first two years, got my master's degree after. Uh, I think two third, uh, three year, uh, two third year classes because uh, when I got to those two classes, I was going nuts at how difficult they were because of the level of memorization you need to have because you got to memorize law. Like I, I kind of went in knowing this, but I didn't think it would be so hard. It, it, it was difficult. But, so don't go into law unless your intention is to become a lawyer and you have a memory like a steel trap. I mean, you can have notes in court, but I mean, you really got to remember a lot of things. Well, that is all the time we have for today, voters. Remember, a good voter is an informed voter who can think for themselves. Do not forget to check out my previous videos on this channel, as well as like and subscribe to keep up to date on new content.